Good day, Grade 12s. My name is Karen Mazzukere, and I'm the author and publisher of the Distinction Bound Student Textbooks. Welcome to Lesson 1.2 on Perfect Markets. Uh, I'm joined with three of my learners. Uh, they will introduce themselves. Hey, you're with Oriara Bile Mangata from Elan Sport High School. Hey, I'm Dalentin Mage from Elan Sport High School. My name is Natasha Selidwa from Elan Sport High School. Yes, uh, so we will start as always by studying the graph, then we go to the questions. Okay, so I'll have my learners help me identify the key points of our graph. So as we study the graph, what are we looking out for? Right, so I'll have you guys say anything that you see is of importance, then we can just do it. Whoever finds something to talk about can start, and then we just proceed. Anyone start? Uh, I see that E is the profit maximizing point. E is the profit maximizing point. Okay, that's true. How do you know is the profit maximizing point? Uh, because um, mm. the, the price 50 is equal to MR. No, that's not what tells us is the profit maximizing point. So isn't it that AR is less than AC? Not really. How do we know that's the profit maximizing point? Well, the price is equal to MR. The price? It is 50. No, no. The price has nothing to do with that. How do we know that it's the profit maximizing point? Because MR intersects MC at the point E. You see where you're messing it up? Yes. Yeah. The, the, the thing that tells us this is the profit maximizing point is we look at MC, we look at MR. Even if they didn't give us MR here and they gave us AR, the mere fact that we have MR, we know that it's equal to AR and equal to a D as well. Okay. So MR is equal to MC, uh, intersect MC or they are equal, yes, at point E. So that's another thing. What else do you see? Anyone? So, so didn't you teach us that MR equals to D equals to AR? That's true. So the mere fact that we have MR, other things are not given right now, but we know that that MR is equal to D and equal to AR. So even though AR is not there, we can use it because we know it's equal to MR, correct? Anyone with anything to add? So we can also see that ATC is equivalent to AC. Or ATC, yes, we normally write AC. Uh huh. We don't usually write ATC on our graphs. We usually label this one as the average cost curve. Yes, but yeah, it's the same thing as average total cost. Okay, any other thing that you want to add? So Anyone? We also see that this graph is a perfect competition. Yes, it's for perfect competition. That's true. How do you know? Uh, because the demand line is horizontal. The demand curve is horizontal. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'll give this question. I'll expand this. Thank you, Darlington. But I'll expand this. If it was monopoly, how would you know that it's monopoly? Uh, because monopoly is inelastic. The demand curve because is inelastic. inelastic ne? Yes. Right. I'll change. Uh, what are uh, what if it was oligopoly? How would you know it's oligopoly? It would have a kinked curve. Uh, when I like whispering, you think <laughs> you, you think it's you are in a bedroom. Uh, nah. <laughs> it would it, it would have a kinked curve. It would have a kinked demand curve. Ne? Yes. Then, uh, Lidwa, I'll give you monopolistic. How would you know it's monopolistic? The curve would be um, elastic. Yes. So for monopolistic, it's more elastic than the one for monopoly. Ne? Right, the way the demand curve slopes is slightly different, but they are both downward sloppy. Uh, anyone to add anything? You can also see that the graph is experiencing an economic loss. Oh, wow, that's true. Thanks, Darlington. And, well, it's labeled. Yes. True, it's labeled. But let's say it wasn't labeled. How would you know that it's economic loss? Because, I think because... Maybe AR is less than AC. True, but there's something I like about Darlington's response. Ne? Uh, he's saying because AR is less than AC, but there's no AR on this graph. How? Because Darlington knows that MR is equal to AR. So even though AR is not there, he knows where it should be. So you can then say AR is less than AC. 
And where is AC? He said AC, but we don't see anywhere where it says AC. AC is ATC. Wow. Well, guys, you started out well. Let's see if you can continue with this. Let's go to the questions. Uh, I'll start with... Um, what did I mean? Start uh, with uh, number 1.2.1. Okay. Identify the market structure in the graph above. Okay. It is a perfect market. Okay, they didn't ask motivation, but how do you know it's perfect? Uh, because line e e R is horizontal. Okay, but call it demand curve. Oh, yes, the because demand the curve demand curve is, is horizontal. horizontal. Yes. Well, that's a good motivation. Let's go to Darlington. Uh, or, um, uh, I'll give this one to Lidwab. Then Darlington, I want you to take 1.2.3. All right. Lidwaba, read number two. Give the value of the market price depicted above. It's okay. The, okay. the market price is, I think it's 50 rand. Yes, the market price is 50 rand. They did not ask motivation. They didn't ask. But how do you know the price? Because is why, why do you say it's 50 and not 90? Because the price is equal to MR. Yes, and MR is given. Why? Yeah, MR is given, so uh, the price cannot be 90 because the price cannot be above MR, ne? because the price is equal to D and equal to AR and equal to MR. Yeah, it's uh, Darlington read number three. How will this e equilibrium position change in the long run? Okay, yes, what did you write? Uh, so now I think that I wrote, I wrote uh, equilibrium position will increase to normal profit. Okay, um, I'll mark you right, but I would rather say change where you said it will increase to normal profits, profit. Rather say it will change to normal profit. Ne? Yes. yes. Rather say it will change to normal profit. Yes, the, the, what will increase actually here is the price. Yes, the price will increase as some firms shut down and leave this market. Well, it presents us with the shutdown rule, ne? Yes. Yeah. I, I hope there are questions on shutting down. Uh -huh. So all I can say is there, where you wrote, where is it there? Where you wrote, it will increase, change that, and ra rather say it will change to, yeah. It's more pronounced. All right, uh, back to uh, number four. Who's taking number four? You'll take it, Sharp. Yes. Uh, what conditions must exist for exit for this firm to shut down? Mm -hmm. uh, so you taught us that shut down if AR is equals to AVC or AR is greater than AVC. No, 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 not greater than. Oh, if yes. AR is less or equal to AVC, yes. that's what I said. When AR is less or equal to AVC, then the firm should consider shutting down. The reason is that firm cannot cover its variable costs. Ne? So when a firm cannot cover its variable costs, then it will be forced to shut down. Now, <clears throat> a couple of firms will shut down that are making economic loss in the short run. And then this, econo this economic loss will cause some firms, those that cannot cover their variable costs, to shut down. When they shut down, one of the two forces of demand and supply will shift. That's the supply curve. So supply will decrease as other firms shut down. And if supply decreases, it will cause the price to go up from 50 to 90. Then firms will begin. So if 90 becomes the new price, then our MR would be here. See? So then the firm will be making a normal profit in the long run. Okay. All right. Let's go to the last question. Uh, who takes the last one? Uh, I'll take it. Uh, for the last question, says, uh, calculate the economic loss faced by the firm. Mm -hmm. So you're going to say 50 minus 90. Okay, 50, yes, that's the price. It will minus 90, which is the cost, yes. Yes, and then it will be equal to 40 rands. Negative, and, negative. Yes, negative 40 rands. And then multiply it by 100, which are our units, uh, which correct. will give us negative 4,000 rands. Negative 4,000 rand. yes, that's correct. Okay, uh, you want to say something? So what if you don't put in the negative and how you would still get the answer correct? Well, if you don't put the negative, rather say 
the economic loss made will be 4,000. Okay, so it's either you say the economic loss made is 4,000 or you write negative 4,000. Thanks for the question. Okay, right, let's go to our answers and see if we got it right. Okay, so here are the answers. Number one, identify the market structure. Yes, it is perfect. Number two, give the value of the price depicted. It's 50 rand, correct? Number three, how will this equilibrium position change? Yes, it will change to normal profit. This is when I asked Darlington to change from, he said it will increase to normal profit. But I think it's more, it's better to say it will change to normal profit. The reason is firms will be leaving the industry. Which firms leave the industry? Those that cannot cover their variable costs. So they will apply the shutdown rule and exit. And existing firms will then begin to make normal profit in the long run. Then the next one, what condition must exist for this firm to shut down? Well, we've been talking about it. AR must be less or equal to AVC or TR must be less or equal to TVC or at a point where MC intersects AVC, something like that. Okay. Then the last one, yes, this one uh, was for... Um, uh, who took this one? Yes, uh, he got it right. Yes, and what I like is, uh, Lidwa, you asked me if you don't write negative. There it is. Ne? Here, they wrote total loss. Yes, then it's 4,000. But uh, then another thing I don't like about this is they didn't put R. And now I'm always teaching my learners that they, you must always put R. Ne? Here they did put the R symbol for, and here they did again. Uh, I think here they were tired or, or they ran out of R's uh, on the keyboard. But yeah, just type in R there, then, you know, I'll be happy. Okay, uh, this brings us to the end of our lesson. And guys, thank you so much. Uh, just say goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Thank you. God bless.